Once upon a time, in the vibrant land of Tamil Nadu, there lived a man who would go on to become a legendary figure in the realm of social reform and rational thought. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take you on a delightful journey through the life of Thandai Periyar, as narrated by the man himself. Picture this, a lanky young lad, growing up in a small village, surrounded by the lush green fields and the melodious chirping of birds. That was me, Thandai Periyar. Even as a child, I possessed an insatiable curiosity and a mischievous sense of humor that often got me into trouble. My mind was like a wild stallion, galloping with ideas, questioning the norms and traditions that dictated our lives. Life in the village was pleasant, but I yearned for something more. So I decided to embark on an adventure to the city. Little did I know that this escapade would shape the course of my life forever. As I arrived in the bustling streets of Madras, now Chennai, I was astounded by the energy and diversity that surrounded me. It was like entering a grand carnival, where people from different walks of life danced to the tunes of their dreams. In this chaotic whirlwind of a city, I found my purpose. I realized that there were deep-rooted societal issues that needed to be addressed, like the oppressive caste system that plagued our land. But hey, I didn't let the weight of these problems bog me down. Instead, I turned to humor as my trusted weapon to expose the absurdity of the system. I started penning articles and speeches that were not just informative but also dripping with wit and satire. Oh, the joy of seeing people laugh, even as they absorbed the message. It was as if humor acted as a spoonful of sugar, making the bitter pill of truth easier to swallow. I remember one incident where I stood in front of a crowd and said, Why does the caste system remind me of a horror movie? because it's filled with ghostly beliefs and haunting discrimination. The laughter that ensued was music to my ears. But it wasn't all fun and games, my friends. I faced immense backlash from the conservative sections of society who saw me as a threat to their beliefs. They called me names, labeled me a troublemaker, and even tried to silence me. But you see, when you possess the armor of wit, no amount of opposition can dull your spirit. I continued to fight. Armed with my sharp tongue and unwavering determination, my quest for social reform led me to join the self-respect movement, a force that aimed to break the shackles of orthodoxy and superstition. We advocated for equal rights for women, eradication of untouchability, and the need to embrace rationality. Oh, how the conservative minds trembled at our audacity. But you know what they say? If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. The sight of people's jaws dropping and their eyes widening was worth every moment of planning. But let me tell you about one of my most memorable episodes of humor. In a bid to challenge the orthodox practice of Brahminical rituals, I decided to conduct a marriage ceremony without any Brahmin priests. Instead, I asked a donkey to perform the rituals. Yes, you heard it right. A donkey. As you can imagine, it created quite the uproar. The idea was to show the absurdity of blindly following rituals without understanding their meaning. And boy, did that message hit home. Throughout my journey, I encountered many remarkable individuals who shared my vision. One such person was my beloved wife, Nagamal. She was not just my partner in life, but also a fierce ally in my fight against injustice. Together, we challenged societal norms and shattered stereotypes. They say behind every successful man is a woman. But in our case, it was more like standing shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. As time passed, my influence grew, and my ideas found resonance in the hearts of millions. People began to question the status quo, challenging the oppressive systems that held them back. And that, my dear friends, was the true victory. It wasn't just about me. It was about the collective awakening, the realization that change begins with questioning the established norms. So, my friends, let us embrace humor and wit as our allies in the fight against injustice. Let us challenge the absurdities of the world, armed with laughter and a quest for truth. For in the end, it is not just about changing society, it is about changing ourselves, one witty remark at a time. In my pursuit of spreading knowledge and challenging societal norms, I've embarked on a new endeavor, a YouTube channel that brings humor, wisdom, and rationality to your screens. If you're ready to join me on this journey of enlightenment, I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel. Let's explore the world together, one video at a time.